beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed for the miracles, for the signs, for the wonders, for your mighty hand, who oh, but you is able to do all this. A man can receive nothing except it is given to him. Look what your grace and your mercy has made out of our lives. Thank you, Jesus. We are not ashamed to declare that you are the doer. You are the Lord of the miracles. You are the Lord of the liftings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The reason why many people do not experience consistent increase is because we get to points in our lives where we become embarrassed to let men know that God is still the doer. When you are starting, it's obvious because you don't have any notable results. It's easy to say it is God. But a time comes when men say you are the doer and you will first say I'm not the doer but later on you will be tempted to say but come to think of it. Is it not my power and the might of my hand? That is the foolishness that can throw a man from any height. It took a king and turned a king into a beast. That whoever can be stupid enough to roll before God, you will never roll before men. I tell you this. That you can lose your dignity before God to say, Lord, I am nothing old. It's not, you are not condemning yourself. It's a recognition. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before. Help me. I cast my crown before.
let me speak peace let me speak peace to the heart of someone many of us do not know the value of peace whatever you have if you do not have peace you are not free no matter what you have Jesus said my peace I give you there are many things in the Bible that God gave man without his request one of it is his peace he said this type of peace the world cannot give it I speak peace to every heaviness peace to every worry peace to every stress in the name of Jesus I speak peace to every storm in your life I want you to know that God is alive and God is in control peace to your spirit let every heaviness let every depression give way the peace of the Lord garrisons your heart tonight in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please be seated please be seated sometimes we just get lost in worship these extended moments of worship are very very powerful because many things happen in worship I was preparing to minister a program it was a worship program and while I was meditating the Lord gave me a revelation about the woman with the alabaster box and the Lord told me that perfume is not the only thing you can put in an alabaster box whatever you do not want to see you can carry it and put it in that box and take it to him you can put your pain in the box you can put your worries in the box because everything presented in that box never returns to you and so it's not only your crown that you give you can put your pain you can put the worries and break it before him and say Lord know what to do with it I have handed this over to you hallelujah it's a powerful thing to really be in the presence of God my prayer for us is that we continue to value his presence that we get to a point where we begin to see the relevance by every standard and from every dimension to see the relevance the profitability of dwelling in his presence hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord it's good to be back home let's get to the word I'm happy to be back it's been very stressful month already and we bless the name of the Lord for the privilege to take his life and his word around the nations let the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus name we thank God for the remarkable things to you be all the glory in the name of Jesus the Lord put what I'm about to teach you in my heart since last month I was just waiting to allow the set time to just discuss it with us everyone's and again the Spirit of the Lord Pastor Shago is good to see you again God bless you thank you everyone's and again the Lord would come to check our level of spiritual progress you see Believers are likened to a house that is being built. The Bible says we all as living stones that we are being built into a spiritual house. And it is the responsibility of the Holy Spirit to check and meticulously vet the construction to make sure not only that the house is built well but that everything that should be captured inside that house is well represented are we together so God would come every once and again to our lives and find out the areas where the testimony of Jesus is not yet established and he will build us up this is why it is powerful to walk with the Holy Spirit if you really walk with the Holy Spirit your life will be complete and balanced if you see him building you in a dimension and you see that there is a lopsidedness you just be patient with him very soon he will come and pick up that side and you become an exceptional trophy very balanced very accurate 
one of the things about dominion i've been looking at this and even in my external ministrations i've been talking about it that we need to understand the dominion systems of the kingdom we need to understand that that's not what i'm talking about but that if the saints remember the bible says that we receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and then it says by them we reign in life it is god's desire that the church enters her glorious destiny experientially and that will only happen when dominion is established are we together now i told you that it is against the law of the spirit for a man to glorify himself so you will lift another who brings you glory you don't glorify yourself in the spirit so it is the son that brings glory to the father and then the church the ecclesia in partnership with the holy spirit glorifies the son but then how is the church now glorified are we together now it is in subjecting principalities and powers and the elements of this system bringing them to the obedience of christ that is how the glory of the church the bride is seen so jesus glorifies the father the church in partnership with the holy spirit glorifies the son then the dominion of the church within this sphere of god's kingdom is how the church is glorified are we together now so it matters to god that the church that we not only continue to learn and grow and fall down and stand up but that we sustain the intelligence and the empowerment two important things the intelligence and the empowerment to rise to a point where experientially the church of the lord jesus christ will not only advance in terms of communicating the gospel of the kingdom but that we get to a point where the dominion of the church is recognized across the sociological strata of human existence and will continue to strive to make this happen in the name of jesus and i've taught us you know different messages put together that there are systems for dominion please listen carefully there are many indices that you put together to measure dominion the ability to exact sovereign control over a territory and one of it at random in no particular order is influence i've taught us the power of influence that kingdom advance does not just happen through evangelism alone but through influence say influence i'm teaching you now say influence influence is very important and believers must be mentored and cultured to see the relevance of kingdom influence influence is the ability to cause men to buy into your values to buy into your ideologies to buy into your perspectives about god and life without using force or cruelty it's called influence are we together now that you get to a point where you can cause a territory to value what you value to prioritize what you prioritize like ruth told naomi your god will be my god your people will be my people so you get to a point where you exert a level of pressure on people to bend and subscribe to your values and your ideologies but you do not use force you do not use cruelty you use something called inspiration influence thrives on inspiration the flawlessness of your results compelling people to see the excellency of modeling their lives after the results that they seek which they see in your life the church will never be able to do much if we ignore influence because you see in this world that we live in at every given point someone is influencing you and you are influencing another person are we together now yes if we ever frown at the decadence that we see in our society the decadence did not come by personal indoctrinations it came by using certain people who are called gatekeepers 
of certain mountains to demonstrate and market that value so strong that an entire territory within a short period of time can buy into that conviction are we together now yes nobody just sits down for instance and loves to be gay I'm just using as an example except that someone who is in a position that can inspire is empowered both by hell and the gatekeepers of this cosmos to market an ideology that would have been ugly if it were marketed by someone with no influence so usually the devil will find people who have um, they are inspiration worthy and then he will incorporate that flaw in their life so that they will sell that idea and we receive everything hook line and sinker because they stand in a position where they can influence our thinking the church needs to be influential remember the dream of King Nebuchadnezzar that Daniel interpreted Daniel said I saw a stone that was not carved by human hands he was interpreting the dream of Nebuchadnezzar, the head of gold, the chest and the breastplate of silver and all of that, that were representations of many kingdoms that will come. And then the feet that was mixed with clay and iron, a type of many systems incorporated in one and daniel said i saw a stone that was not carved by human hands it arose and crushed that kingdom then the stone became a mountain a stone became a mountain a strata of influence and then he says that a kingdom was given to the saints and that that kingdom cannot be destroyed and that kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and jesus now comes to say that kingdom is called the church he says i am the builder of it the rejected stone the chief cornerstone now becomes a mountain and becomes a kingdom a collection of people and an invincible force that will crush every kingdom the Bible said it. The king had the dream and Daniel interpreted it. And it will happen in the name of Jesus Christ. So we need influence. We need a lot of it. One of the other elements that we need to be able to exert dominion. I'm just giving us the foundation. So when we say we should walk in dominion it's not just a vague talk of authority no there are certain specifics that must be in place if the church is to dominate are we together one of it for instance is spiritual empowerment there cannot be true dominion until that individual is empowered the psalmist said i will lift up my eyes onto the hills and then he asks a question he said from whence cometh my help that means the issue of help is mandatory it's just that people outsource help from different dimensions others can outsource help from sorcery and witchcraft others can outsource help from education and um, our secular enlightenment others can outsource help from relationships and human connections and then the psalmist said for me oh, i can't speak for everybody but my help cometh from the lord the maker of the heavens and the earth are we together so it's established that nobody rises and commands dominion unassisted you must be assisted by a dimension that is beyond the three-dimensional realm so every time you see someone exerting dominion in any sphere of influence at all there is no need guessing whether that person has been assisted or not if at all you care to guess you will want to just guess the source of the assistance not that that person was assisted it is impossible to walk in dominion unassisted are we together men are helped to be great men are helped to be blessed if you ignore the spiritual assistance that we call empowerment God's token of his presence and might upon your life granting you access to possibilities that should not be affordable to you by human standards 
that's what it means to be empowered to be engraced with an energy with an ability that only God should have so that you command results that are not given to mere men and then the third is wealth there is no dominion without wealth it is true the wealth of the kingdom is an index that empowers the church to command dominion and when i talk of wealth i'm not talking of just cars and houses that's 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 not wealth that's just maybe a level of comfort but that, that's not what we're talking about at all we're talking of a dimension of divine supplies that can force any closed door that is shut by the economy of this world to be opened are we together now these are the forces among others there are many others that must be engaged in our lives and corporately as a body 90 percent listen please 90 percent of the pursuits of men and women on earth today is an attempt to make a meaning out of their lives to make a meaning to try to put ends together so a father is rushing to get a job and you ask him sir why are you so busy and he tells you look i need to get um school fees for my children i need to pay rent i need to do this and that and there's a businessman running and i mean helter skelter you wake up in the morning and you see people run from morning till night and you ask them what are you looking for and some say survival some say we're making ends meet and so on and so forth and you know there's there seems to be that contention everywhere left right and center please listen very carefully you see if you follow the way of the Lord please listen to me the Bible says there is a way that seemed right unto a man it could be a way that has been established by philosophy and the pride of men i hope you know men are arrogant it's what god has had to put up with us for many decades the the pride of men in spite of our ignorance it's amazing how arrogant men are and then at the end we have to turn back and say lord i need you how many times have people ignored god in the bible based on whatever they think or they thought was an advantage and they were forced to return to a point where they would call upon his name and acknowledge him so when life defines a pathway for you to follow listen carefully just because a crowd is following that pathway does not mean that way is right are you listening to me now the courage to walk with god is what many people do not have because this system wields a level of pressure on you this is how it is done this is how we make money this is how we become famous this is how we do this and you know that the holy spirit is telling you there is a way i can route your life and destiny such that you will do much in in so short a time and have the time to lift up the name of the lord and glorify him you see let me tell you something the system that was designed by satan was designed by a lot of intelligence the system was so designed that you must lose certain things when you follow it one of the things you must lose is joy one of the things you must lose is peace one of the things you must lose is God one of the things you must lose is everything God gave you so you you move and take that path and check my peace is gone where did it go to and Satan says continue going and then you find out my joy is gone and then you find out my relationship with God is gone. The, 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 the progression was designed to strip you of everything divine. And to reward your giving away these valuable things, you get stipends that you call success. You call stipends the accolades of men 
while they clap for you for getting A and B, you have lost the things that really matter. And after decades of moving in ignorance, you will turn back and find out you really didn't have anything. You were better off before you started following that path. Are we together now? Our world is full of very angry people. Look at the young people who are angry right now. They turn back and look at their lives. No money, no joy, no peace. You have children as if you should kill them. Are we together now? Because you don't know what to do with them. The needs are much. They bring PTA letter and you are angry. You have a church. You don't even know what to do. It's not growing. You go and copy a formula somewhere and say we must apply it. This church must grow. And you try it and nothing happens. And you give your best and the members lash back at you. And you turn and say, God, did you design this thing? And God said, I have no hand in this. Because Jesus said, I am the way listen carefully that you shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk ye in it now but the challenge is this many believers do not have the fortitude to sit down and be correctly mentored to follow the path that will lead to life and power usually usually a combination i think of operations of darkness tampered with our pride the pride of men we hate being taught we want to show we know we we feel embarrassed when we are educated because it looks like it's an insult on our pedigree are we together now so usually we like suggestions but not to be taught and say look this way you are following is wrong let me tell you this i i say this with all humility i have watched people take steps and i already knew where they were going to end it's painful when you already know where a road is going and someone is still following it I have seen people take steps and make choices that I know the end of it is going to be disaster except the mercy of God intercepts somewhere in the way they are going to fail and they are going to fail woefully now this sounds like pride you see I've been saying this thing for many years I didn't just start saying it this system will never allow you serve God is a promise I'm giving you you follow this system the world's way of doing things you will never live a meaningful life have you seen the rate at which people commit suicide someone would just hang himself and write a letter I hate life I was reading um, the, the online paper just today about a woman I think somewhere in Nigeria who killed her husband killed the children and killed herself that's the way high blood pressure used to be sickness for old people but now you see teenagers having high blood pressure and you wonder what <laughs> excuse me what they are thinking about that's life for you and satan continues to manipulate the system to ensure number one that you never have time for God I hope you know that the number one attack of Satan is your spiritual life listen to me carefully in that order when Satan begins to launch an attack it doesn't matter where it comes from ultimately because if he can cut your ears away from the voice of God that's the supply of your life man shall not live by bread alone but by every word and if that word is cut away from you you have started dying even though alive every attack on your life has a way of routing to your spiritual life so the Bible says we should be steadfast immovable are we together now to get to a point where you are solid that nothing will offend you that you will not find offense in God to say God I'm disappointed in you I will try another strategy I, I, I trusted you to do A and B in my life you have come to a point where your love for God is as solid as Mount Zion many people's spiritual lives have been attacked every day every time per second per second satan uses all the elements in this life poverty 
pain offense disappointment are we together delay all kinds of things and he keeps targeting your spiritual life and goodness is he getting at people rubbishing people so much you see everyone i'm trying to make ends meet um it's time for prayer prayer what please god is here let's 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 do this thing first and we wake up early in the morning and we sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow because that was not the formula assigned to bring us rest there remained a sabbath for the people of god but until you walk with the holy spirit who is the lord of the sabbath to be able to guide you and show you the systems you must access let me tell you my brothers and my sisters men can find rest in experience do not allow the personal frustrations that you have faced on your journey to fulfillment and relevance make you believe that god is incapacitated no my life and your life can never be a perfect reflection of his capability. He doesn't bend to our standards. We must subscribe to conform to God's standard. If you are poor today, it's not a reflection of God's inability to bless. If you are not influential today, it's not a reflection of God's limitation. Are we together? If you are not anointed to a notable dimension, it's not a reflection of God's inability to reach you. There is somewhere in that equation you either do not understand or you are engaging wrongly. That's why we are here to learn, to be taught to be guided to see that there is a path that truly leads to death not spiritual death physical death but there is a path that leads to life is god speaking to someone already and so i just want to press on an issue with us that i think god would have me talk to us on tonight um so that we can have the time to serve god I title it it's a very brief message my cup runneth over I want to share with you the dominion systems that God has put to help men activate the supplies of heaven I pray pray for me that God will grant me grace to finish on time because I really want us to pray I want us to spend a few minutes praying the greatest distraction I have seen in the lives of believers is this issue of our daily bread. The issue of trying to make ends meet. And the rate at which believers are being distracted by the worries and the cares, especially as regards our needs. There has to be a system to address it. If not, a time will come when on sunday churches will be empty a time will come when you will organize crusades and you will find people saying look I, I have four jobs because i'm trying to make ends meet i my my child school fees has been increased to uh, by times five and i have to make sure ends meet god please wait when i make it i can come to you and if you disturb me i'll come with a seed and sow it to you Psalm 23. Lord, may this message bless your body in the name of Jesus. This is how I read this scripture. If the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Verse 2. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leaded me beside the still waters verse 3 he restored my soul he leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake uh-huh yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod thy staff they comfort me five thou preparest a table just leave that verse this is what we are dealing with tonight. Thou preparest a table, not a sword. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Here is the miracle. Thou anointest my head with oil. 
my cup runneth over may that be our testimony in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God that your cup will run over transgenerationally that you will get to a point where because of you it will be that you have brought light you have brought salvation and empowerment to your loved ones I believe that the greatest attack on the body of Christ will come in the area of divine supplies supplies for kingdom advance it is no news that God wants us to be able to have the level of overflow and abundance. And this is not in some carnal, um, self-centered way. No, we are talking kingdom here. Are we together? That it is the will of God, please listen very carefully, to bring us to a point by his grace where we access the supplies of heaven that can afford us the opportunity, listen carefully, to be able to spend our lives by spending our time serving the Lord. Remember the teaching that I did here on time. Certain things about time that we need to learn. That all that you have in life is time. Are we together now? That means whatever you give your time to, you have invested part of your life to. Are we together now? Yes. That our lives are time dependent and whatever you commit your time to is what you have given your life to and so Satan knowing the value of time has manipulated a system that compels the average person to commit most of his time on mundane pursuits so that we do not have time left to serve the purposes of the kingdom and advance the gospel and lift the name of the Lord. So it's not the issue of poverty or prosperity or abundance or lack. It's a fight for time. Satan is targeting your time, not your pocket. He's using your pocket to target your time because he knows that if he can create a system around your life, where God is not prioritized, he has captured you. The time of the average believer is spent worrying, is spent thinking of needs here and there. And I want to tell you categorically, it is not the will of God. You will never be able to serve the purposes of God that way. As a man of God, it's impossible to have the time to settle down and prepare a quality sermon well researched with prayer to bless people when there are all kinds of concerns where will we get the fuel for the generator where are we going to rent the keyboard many people lie as if it doesn't matter it does matter when your landlord comes knocking at your door you will be surprised to see how it will influence your prayer life are we together now that says and have you ever been in a situation that gave you concern you lost appetite has that happened to someone that you sat down you are not sick or you are fine but there's a plate of food in front of you and you cannot eat because you are worrying you wake up in the night and you are stressed out are you not seeing that death is killing us give us psalm 112 this is god's idea of a man of a family that is a true representation of his of his abundance and his supplies it says praise ye the lord blessed is the man that feared the lord take note one that man fears the lord number two he delighted greatly in his commands so that's the secret of that man that that man is blessed go back to verse one he is blessed because he fears the Lord and he delights greatly in his commands. Verse 2 says, His seed shall be mighty upon earth. And then he says, The generation of the upright. That means that the impact of that man transcends a generation. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Verse 3 says, Wealth and riches shall be where? Please talk to me believers that wealth and riches shall be in his house and in spite of that wealth and riches his righteousness endures 
now this is what you cannot get with satan if you ever get wealth and riches this way your righteousness will not endure because it will force you to dapple your hands in all kinds of things that by the time you are 10 years in that voyage you have lost so many things wealth and riches shall be in his house and in spite of it his righteousness endures the bible says that man is blessed he fears the lord and he delights greatly in his commands his seed his seed there is not just his children your seed is anything that comes out of you that his seed shall be mighty upon earth and then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed wealth and riches shall be in his house and then he says his righteousness endures forever i have taught extensively on the systems of the kingdom that are allocated to bring supplies and to help believers to come into a point where we experience the abundance that gives us the time and the convenience to serve god are we together now uh, i've said it again that most of the issue when it has to do with the supplies of the kingdom wealth riches and abundance is that number one most people approach it from a carnal and ungodly perspective is is from a standpoint of lost so the entire exegesis around the subject of wealth is coming from a heart that is already depraved it's not a heart that truly wants to honor god it's just a heart that wants to grab and get and so it's largely a marketing of lust but that's not the way of God number two is that there is as I will always say an imbalance in the communication of the precepts that leads to it so we have preachers who communicate their ideas on what they believe is the kingdom system allocated the economic system of the kingdom and they give the best that they can communicate and then you find out largely that from many of those teachings the members don't prosper from it it is usually the preachers that prosper from it because the members appreciate the preachers for teaching them but they go back and since they themselves don't have congregations to appreciate them there is nothing for them to return home with and they are angry and frustrated and then they now begin to write all kinds of devilish things about the gospel and about men and women of God and then we have on the other side entrepreneurs and business people and all kinds of people who bring all kinds of ideas about wealth and that is wonderful and well-meaning but some of these things are a mix of of Scientology and some of it is even a mix of all kinds of ancient religions and things that reduce God to become energy and just reduces God to become a force just like many other forces so by the time you dwell and explore those things your conclusion about God would just be that God is some kind of sovereign energy in the cosmos who can do something to your brain and so on and so forth so there is largely an imbalance my question tonight is what is truly the way to accessing the supplies of heaven is God so wicked my brothers and my sisters that he will leave us in the dark and watch us move in pain and in the financial squalor that continues to press people down to a point where there is not enough even for our children it says if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children if you being evil in the depravity of your heart yet you can create space for compassion to be able to look at your child and bless your child let me give you a guarantee i promise you in the name of the lord jesus christ if you listen to me you will never never be poor if you listen to me you will never be small it's a guarantee i give you in the name of the lord forgive me if i sound arrogant but it's true just pay attention to this thing don't 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 tamper with the equation when you don't have results get results first then you can say oh you are wrong i discovered another route this teaching is a symbol of god's mercy because there is a tsunami coming it has started it's sweeping everywhere and everything close to it 
and it's unfortunate that there are many believers that might be victims of this that we will never get to a point where we begin to eat our children do you know women ate their children in the bible to eat your children now doesn't mean to eat your child physically that you can mortgage the future and the destiny of your child so that you satisfy your hunger of today you have eaten your child many of our parents ate our destinies let me tell you the truth they ate our destinies in selfishness there are many people today in marriages they should not be but the parents say you must enter so that we will eat that's eating your child there are many people who should not be involved in certain things at all there are many pastors who should be in the field serving the lord they are somewhere roaming around forcing supplies to come from where it's not found i will never serve satan to feed my stomach i will never serve babylon to feed my stomach it's a vow that you must make that my entire life will be spent serving the purposes of the kingdom i will never serve the lord and quote scriptures and fall down under the anointing only to stand up and become a victim of a system that will define for me how much time and space i give god I'm not going to be talking so much about the spiritual principles we understand I just want to pick one of the subjects that the Lord put in my heart and drum it into us and then we are going to pray hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord increase in the kingdom increase in the kingdom increase in this kingdom is a product of value write it down increase in the kingdom the greatest gift that can happen to a man is to be shown the systems and the ways that construct your life to become valuable please listen very carefully the law of value your value defines your degree of usefulness please write it down your value defines your degree of usefulness the degree to which you are needed within a civilization within a sociological context the degree of your usefulness not just your uniqueness not just your skill you can have skill that is not useful to the context of a civilization the degree of your usefulness is what we call your value and god so designed that the supplies of heaven are routed listen carefully the supplies of heaven are routed through the medium of value that when God wants a believer and one who is a citizen in the kingdom to rise to a point where you begin to access the riches and the blessings of heaven he does not just favor you as it were with giving you money but he brings you to a pedestal in life where it becomes impossible to ignore you are we together now there are many ways he achieves that but that the gateway into accessing the supplies of heaven experientially is becoming valuable now but most people most of the teachings on value does not capture the full import of what makes it rewardable it's not enough to know that your value is a measure of your usefulness just because you have something that is useful to me does not mean you will be rewarded for it there are many people carrying useful things but are not rewarded for it they are valuable yet they are not rewarded is that true 
so what is the system that translates your value to compel the environment that you live in to come gentiles coming to your light and then they are kings to the brightness of your rising get this tonight and you will thank me tomorrow I've taught you here that your value decides who pursues you it's true your value decides who pursues you you know you are valuable by the extent of demand that is placed on your grace on your skill on whatever it is that you represent now most believers will frown at what i'm saying that's why they are poor that's why they struggle we pray and that's very important we study the word we are faithful in church but we do not understand the systems allocated to bring us out of this qualoo of hardship many of the things we try to address are symptoms of one central deficiency value in the area where value plays nothing will cover for it are we together now so your value is a reflection of the extent of your usefulness and i've taught you also that who pursues you determines the magnitude of your reward it is not just because people are pursuing you the quality of people pursuing you is also the quality of the reward that accrues to you if a president needs you you would be rewarded at the level and at the stature of a president is that true yes how can i call on your name and end up in shame no way no way how can i bow down before you and then bow down before a man no way no way because Ever present help in time of need. You are my God. Do you know that when you become valuable, you will command dominion in a way and manner that will not only bring God glory it will bring glory to you it will bring glory to your family you will bring beauty and glory out of your life when you become valuable pegged at a level where your usefulness cannot be ignored pegged at a level where every other factor to downplay your usefulness becomes inconsequential that you rise to a point where not gender not geographic limitations cultural barriers etc that none of these things sustain the ability to be reason enough for men to ignore you that's value value is not that you have something that is is being biased by loyalty so i have something that only my tribes people patronize and they're only doing that just because they had that my name reflects that now they, oh you are from this state and okay let's come and buy this no when you sustain an ability and you peg yourself at a pedestal in life where regardless of what else is not important in your life people ignore it because of the necessity of what you carry you are valuable it was said about jesus all men seek for you not some not yoruba people seeking for a yoruba man not Igbo people seeking for an Igbo man not northern people seeking for a northern man this is largely what we call value in our world so if i have value now i just quickly go and look for my people and say i'm the son of the soil your boy has come with this if you leave me like that and so we have a crowd of people it is it's largely just ethnocultural but that god puts something in your life my brothers and my sisters that will cause all men 
regardless of value nobody will ever ask you where you come from they don't care whether you are male or female nobody cares whether this water was made by a male hand or a female hand nobody cares whether once you are tested to the point of death you say let me have that water whether it was made by a child or an adult the moment people create certain factors to demean you you are not valuable enough if any other excuse is worthy enough to frustrate you then you are not valuable if you listen to what i am telling you your children will bless you tomorrow years ago the holy spirit would tell me pay attention and let me make you valuable i didn't understand the extent of what he was saying oh today i'm grateful there is no magic that is going to happen in your finances let me repeat there is no magic that is going to happen in your finances if you do not trust god to take you to a point where you become extremely valuable i give you a guarantee in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god as far as accessing supplies by yourself here on earth is concerned you will live a frustrated life it's a matter of time and i'm not talking of business here or a job here <clears throat> leave all those things first you see it is your value that gives life to those things they don't give life to you many have not been taught that part of the ministry of the holy spirit in our lives is not just to help us know god it's not just to help us walk in character the holy ghost upgrades men he came into our life to build us to a point where we become valuable the bible says jesus increased in wisdom listen carefully jesus increased in stature jesus increased in favor with god and with men the holy ghost does not come into the lives of people and then reduces them to a point where the only thing useful about them is their knowledge of God no sir is God speaking to us tonight value when your world comes to you they watch to see what it is that you have in your hands that you are going to exchange for the reward they have you are valuable when no amount becomes regrettable to commit to you when no amount becomes that means nobody would drop something and turn back and say i was stupid for dropping one million i just came i know pastor alpha is anointed but ah, ah, one million what entered me no when nothing in this world becomes worthy enough to reward what you carry you are valuable with beyond imagination and this is where god is taking us to because let me tell you if you have that even if you are inside a hole i guarantee you you will not beg for bread i hope god is speaking to you you see i love you that's why i'm telling you this the devil will tell you don't mind him then make sure you don't have children make sure that you 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 are not the one who will be taking care of your relatives do you know how many well-meaning believers who love god are still asking god questions still today lord this is unfair my father was a pastor my mother was a pastor i'm a preacher i love you with all my heart what is all this one that i'm seeing now 90 percent of the discussion in homes is money finance madam what are you bringing you are hiding money from me the man says you are, you are you know and all kinds of things and god is watching he's saying this time is supposed to be prayer time have you seen families doing devotion in the morning and the father stops say what, what devotion are you doing and he picks a scripture by himself just because he wants to quarrel somebody who is not bringing resources and devotion that is supposed to be a time of love and fellowship ends up becoming quarrel a lot of people accuse pastors who steal church money and you see the truth is that except god shows you the way out otherwise this thing will press you one day you will touch what you should not touch hello please talk to me 
don't trivialize what pressure can do in the life of a man when you are pressured to a point where you are pushed to the wall you will be surprised at the compromises you will be able to make we are losing believers per second per second because of poverty and what it can bring did you know someone sent me a text one time and told me that the whether they wanted to give the person a job god is my witness but that the person who was helping to facilitate it said they have to pay two hundred and fifty thousand naira before they will get the job i said so do you have the money he said no she was whether i think it was a she coming to just say if i can if god can use me i said no god doesn't use me for those kind of things god does not use me for those kinds of things now it's easy to criticize them and say you mean you love god and you are doing that until you find out that a family of 10 people is depending on one person's pocket to eat it's a cause it's not the will of god imagine for instance that i tell them to give me a bucket now and while i'm preaching i just i just say if the bucket comes close to you there's something written on the bucket just read it and do whatever it says look at how your mind everything i'm saying will just go down because i'm passing a bucket you look at the bucket and look at what is written on it and just shut down and say what is all this again but do you not know that it is capital intensive to lift up the name of jesus the name of jesus is heavy it takes resources to lift it up did you hear what i said the name of jesus is not a feather you throw it's heavy it will take the shoulder of priests to take it up it's easy to accuse men of god around oh i like koinonia they don't ask us to give anything we just come and enjoy we enjoy free dinner and they pay money and we, i like this kind of ministry other pastors should be like that uh -uh. don't be quick to criticize my brothers and my sisters if god does not show you the key to this gate you will stand there and almost die Nagir mama sunanka ubangiji. We raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We sing in honor of you. You will never walk in integrity if you don't have supplies. I guarantee you, in the name of the Lord, you will never walk in integrity life will push you to a point where you must compromise you will preach something you didn't preach 10 years ago because you have found out that in that message now can come a way of helping your belly value now but you see the value listen carefully my brothers and my sisters just being valuable is not enough you must ensure that that value is needed and useful within the context of your civilization this is as simple as it is that your value must be needed listen pastor come let's assume you are selling this and i don't need it now i'm passing you have this i'm just giving an example yet i don't need it will i reward you are you valuable is your value useful to me no do i need it no so you will still suffer although you are valuable that's what is happening to many of us there is almost nobody here that i know who has not recognized something that is valuable and just because we found it we start rejoicing and we believe life should just come and bless us no sir there is a standard that demands reward because the me who is moving around me too i'm looking for something with my resources and until i find the person with that something to the standard i consider rewardable that is the only condition for releasing things 
it's not enough to be valuable your value must first be needed and useful second your value must be translated to a form where it is served with excellence excellence that relates to every level of mental development did you hear what i just said that your value must be translated to products and services that are served with excellence an excellence that can be able to be satisfying to any kind of level that means that the value you provide and the excellence attached to it may only be able to serve people who are middle class that level of excellence may not suffice for the great who do not think price are we together now so there are many of us who are doing things but that what we are doing i give you an instance our daddy is a prof here are we together now now if you are a graduate they are not going to call you to go and head an institute of something with all kinds of benefits accruing to it because you are a graduate but not graduate enough you have not graduated enough to sit there so the problem is not that you are not a graduate but you are not graduate enough the question there is enough to the standard are we together now the person who takes last in a race I hope you know he has a time too that he finished but he did not finish at enough time to get the gold medal the question is not that they finished the question is there is a time allocated and whoever can beat the time is the one who gets the gold so it's not enough to say you are valuable as a man of god let me come back to ministry because many of you as and leave all those things let's talk ministry so let me talk ministry as a man of god it's not enough to be called You can be called you can feel anointed in fact quite honestly you can be anointed but is it to the level that can bless the people who God told to bless you because for every destiny helper there is a standard of grace that compels his resources to answer to you God can tell me or God would have put in my spirit to give pastor Alpha a car provided he heals my mad child are we together provided he does what not provided he prays in my house the condition for that reward is that whoever can come with the level of grace that can take away madness in that house so i'm anointed i know scriptures and i come to the house and i roam around and i just pray and at the end of it they just thank me they put malt in a bottle with straw and they put donut and they escort me with it outside and i go it's not that god did not send them your level of value did not make it fair for that answer to come to you that means when i sit in a meeting and grace is coming on me god is lifting me to the standard that can match the helpers so that their resources can now come to me are you getting what i'm saying now listen very carefully everybody who will bless you tomorrow is already alive today your level of grace has not risen enough to call them that's why they are shifted to your tomorrow if you enter that level of grace today they will come today I look at my life today and I see what people do to me and I'm almost tempted to ask where were you where were you when I was sucking ginger inside a straw and I was a believer are we together when I was trekking to first bank without money in my account by faith hoping that I will get miracle alert now you are receiving it free it's just coming there was a price God has authorized Pastor Alpha. This is your prayer request for the next level. But your value is here. It cannot match until you are lifted to the level that matches it. 
and so the holy spirit has the responsibility of upgrading the saints please listen carefully upgrading the saints to a level where their usefulness becomes worthy of being rewarded by any standard are we together now that means pastor alpha gets to a point where someone will sit down and think with his wife and the lord will say kai build one of my servants a house why don't they think about you because they don't think it's fair to give you that kind of house now remember they know you are called but they think it's unfair they believe that there are more rewarding ministers in terms of impact kingdom impact and the spirit of god by himself will take their minds to those people and say that's the man you should bless please believe what i'm telling you yes we've had people my brothers and my sisters i, I say this to the glory of god we've had people live and travel from other nations and other cities to koinonia not for the program travel with seeds and they said they sat down and agreed either as a business enterprise and say no since we love god and before we started this business we agreed that god should grant us grace so that we'll bless others and they leave their cities take flights go through the rigor of coming to zaria and all they are coming to do is apostle we want to sow into koinonia and we want to continue and you ask them why and the man will say i listen to one message say value not message say value but that value had grace and content in it to rise to a level where it can smash the devil worrying that man so the man listened to a message and as he listened to the message he fell asleep and in that sleep the message continued and jesus stepped in the jesus he fasted for two months to see he didn't see but he listened to one message and climbed the ladder of a grace straight into an encounter he would look for that person and reward him that was why nicodemus looked for jesus even in the night he traced him the bible doesn't tell us everything that happened there but i'm convinced he came with honorarium it's just my thinking it's just my simple thinking forgive me if i sound arrogant but there are some of you as you are seated right now there are all kinds of envelopes in your pocket you are waiting for us to share the grace so you will queue and spend time only to come and sow into my life now i'm sorry that i'm the one saying this and i'm not by any way manipulating you but it's the truth now you are thinking how will somebody stand for hours just to drop a seed to a man whereas you beg the same person why he was on the queue and he didn't give you transport fare are you seeing how it is there is no reward until your value rises to a point where it can be served with excellence as a man of god nobody will place a demand on your grace just because you are prayerful and just because you study the truths that you communicate must the impact of that word must be felt in the lives of the people when it is done clear the way for the rewards that will come now you don't preach because of money don't get me wrong however it is important possible my brothers and my sisters to be valuable to serve that value with excellence whether you sell it or give it free you must be rewarded it's a law by the grace of god and the privilege of god's hand god has granted me the opportunity to raise too many people around this nation and around the world for me to beg for bread my children will never beg for bread even if i give back to them and go to be with the lord because people have been raised and wisdom is justified by her children your value has not raised anyone yet you want life to reward you you see how unfair it is just because you think you are a graduate holding a certificate does not mean that what have you given to the world that you demand value from it's amazing how your relatives will not give you money but they will run for a meeting 
and kneel down waiting for a man of God to pass so they would drop money. You beg them for rent, they didn't give you. Yet they are carrying four times that amount to give someone who is already blessed. Nobody really blesses a needy person. They bless valuable people. You must translate yourself from this needy mentality to a mentality of value that even if you don't have money in your pocket you can say in the name of jesus i'm coming for koinonia there is an anointing that is coming i'm not falling for nothing every time i fall i rise upgraded in the spirit and a day will come i will put something in the realm of the spirit that will cause the nations to place a demand on my grace jesus climbed up the mountain and people followed him up the mountain to the point that his influence threatened the scribes and the pharisees they said no this guy is stealing the show if we don't do something about him he will destroy us koinonia let me tell you my brothers and my sisters you are gathered here every week by the grace of god because we continue to strive to communicate truths to you that are applicable to every facet of your life it's a formula that is unbendable you would hear testimonies here you would hear testimonies every week that the word produce results nobody leaves what works did you hear what i'm saying nobody leaves what works no sir the world does not have too many things that are working so the options are few there are not too many things working in this life so when you find what works you stay and pay whatever price it takes to stay that's why the presence of god is 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 is, is a is a place and a zone you must desire and hunger for forever because you see the presence of god does not just make you heaven bound it makes you valuable it truly does look at my life the presence of god that's where you find the anointing so while i'm worshiping in his presence i love i love i love your presence i love i love you think i'm just wasting time singing but while i'm singing and worshiping in his presence there is an elevation in the spirit a new anointing son you have this anointing and that but you don't have this one let me introduce this in your life and i'm there just worshiping the same way you are typing the letter in your office me too I'm, I'm 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 doing all of that the same way you are reading for a promotion exam and all of a sudden i step out and i see a grace that was not upon me yesterday now the grace has come meaning the person who will not bless me yesterday can now bless me because there is a grace that can now add him to the list of the blessings i love i love i love your presence I love, I love, I love your presence. I love, I love, I love you, Jesus. I love, I love, Shalabakato Saladash. I love your presence. I love, I love. Listen. forget about bringing a valuable person down you don't know how needy this world is until they find true value all this issue of trying to bring people down is a joke when you find especially value that is stamped with the hand of God only God can bring that person down I'm telling you this koinonia will continue to grow from glory to glory it's not just some recitation the formula has been given the scroll is not closed the seals have been broken it's been open we have seen it with our eyes the things men do not have how could they resist it an anointing is not sold in the market an anointing is not stored in a bank the government does not have it so how dare you trivialize the power of God upon the hand of upon the life of a man and then assume it's not there your need will force you to remember that only the anointing can solve it listen 
you are seated now in this place to some of you you are attending a service i wish you could see in the realm of the spirit that you are climbing ladders some of you travel from far you just thought you came for a service until you go back on sunday on your little prayer group and you say let us pray fire and you see fire everywhere to an extent that you say what is this what is going on here and everybody descends they will stop calling you brother immediately they, they will have to invent a name to show you you have risen in the spirit let me tell you this it's good to know how to cook it's good to know how to do business but my brothers and my sisters be anointed this is real value be anointed have something upon you that no man can buy the same way you can do nothing against the truth but for the truth he said thou anointest my head give us that scripture you did not anoint my cup the goal is for my cup to run over but the oil came on my head and the result showed in my cup it takes more than a good profession to prosper it takes more than a good skill to prosper there is only so much reward you can get from that angle ah but when his hand comes upon you blessed is the man that my god finds and puts grace upon you your life will be a wonder you will you will walk upon gold as dust i'm telling you this listen let me tell you all these money money things you see people chase around most people don't have any money they just have enough to solve their basic needs so they look rich they are poor And yet that's what distracts a lot of people but when you stand say lord put something in my life put something upon me i i don't know why people don't pray that prayer oh god shorten my journey i don't have time shorten my journey let there be an anointing on my profession listen 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 come emeka you are a doctor come watch this we're going to pray this gentleman is a doctor when someone is sick they will meet you for injection or meet you for whatever now your profession does not determine who you bless the anointing on your profession will make a rich man come as your patient you see now that one is not mbbs again that one is the anointing influencing your possibilities so a day that no doctor is around the billionaire comes and the Holy Ghost, not your profession, pushes you there. You have a restaurant, you are a chef, congratulations. But not being anointed, you will continue to cook for poor people for wherever. They will finish eating and then back in and say, I don't have 10 naira, I don't have 15 naira. But when the anointing comes upon it, the anointing will make you go to visit your auntie just when a politician is there and he says i'm looking for someone there is a meeting and he says ah my daughter is here that one is no longer your skill that one is a grace from heaven that comes upon men listen you can be a preacher and have a good understanding of scripture mighty exegesis of scripture and they keep inviting you to different places wonderful you will be blessed but the eye of your helpers will never meet you until there is a grace that grace is what will take your seed your message whatever you represent to the ears of the man that can announce your ministry how would i have risen from zaria here how many public address structures do you have i'm not on facebook i'm not on any social media as a person It's not everything that is just good preaching it's not everything that is just mm -mm. there is an anointing that announces it's called an oil of gladness it can take men and make you above your fellows
please listen the financial tsunami that is coming to destroy men a time will come where you will see people i'm not i'm not i'm not a, a sadist but a time will come where everything you have every other person has it you are educated they are educated and then the other person contending with you is a tribesman of the director what then is your advantage there are things when you have only the rich look for you there are things when you have only the poor look for you there are things when you have only sick people look for you there are things you have only those in need of legal issues look for you there are things when you have only hungry people look for you but there are things when you have all men will seek for you all men all men god designed it that way so when jesus was about to start his ministry having done everything he did the bible says he went to the wilderness and cried there 40 days 40 nights fasting and he returned in the power of the spirit and then acts chapter 10 tells us how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power the bible says he went about doing good healing all day that were oppressed something humorous happened today i i have never been to shiloh as a person and i was just sitting today and all of a sudden i got a text the pastor in charge of registering pastors in shiloh sent a text to my phone and said man of god are you coming we want to arrange your reservations and this i said what is this now listen i'm just saying it to encourage you i don't know that man from adam Are we together now yet there is somebody who will not stay in the secret place but will keep lobbying you will go there and be roaming around the gate like a thief they will say please join the members or sit in the overflow listen once you are struggling to be accepted in a realm and they are rejecting you it's a sign that the anointing has not opened the door go back don't force yourself just go back when you try to enter as a pastor you see other pastors and you are fighting for acceptance and they are saying mr man we invited a b not you will consider you one day stop making a mockery of yourself go back to the secret place and say where is the god that puts oil on the head of men let me tell you my brothers and my sisters when what comes upon great men comes upon you there is no door that will remain closed thou anointest my head with oil is someone ready to pray tonight this is the value that i brought for you that if you if god grants you access to the anointing and you can serve that anointing with excellence there is no door listen you don't have to leave your profession it just needs to be anointed many of us are educated but our certificates are not anointed many of us are skilled but your skill needs to be anointed i'd like you to find a corner our time is gone for the next five or ten minutes worship team just set the atmosphere for us find a place and blast in tongues and pray in the spirit and cry to god and say lord you are the giver of all good things you don't withhold good things something upon my life place an anointing upon my head that will answer to the needs of kings that will answer to the needs of nobles place an anointing upon my degree place an anointing upon my masters place an anointing upon my phd oh god place an anointing upon my profession i am a lawyer but only an educated one can you put an anointing upon my legal practice your usefulness Amplified by the presence of the anointing.
worshippers pray Lord I can sing I have written songs but let an anointing come upon my song so called Lord I'm a businessman it is true that I've paid my price doing well learning the principles of business but let an anointing come upon the value that I provide Outside, make sure you're praying. Overflow, make sure you're praying. Now anoint test my head with oil. Shabakatokata. My business overflows. My ministry overflows. My church overflows. Thou anointed my head with oil. Favor overflows. Thou anointest my head with oil. My career explodes. Thou anointest my head with oil. Koinonia, pray. You are opening the gates of greatness. Pray. Lord, let your anointing announce me. Let your anointing announce the gift of God upon my life. Shaka takata. Come on, prayer warriors, pray. Pray like a priest. Embra koto shake it, take it, take it, take it. Embra keto kashana makata. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. mention whatever it is that you do whether it's your job whether it's your business and say lord let your anointing and your fire come upon it and let there be an explosion from the left to the right lift your voice and pray if you are in ministry pray over the work god has put in your hand lord it's time to take the power the glory of god to the nations it's time for the gates of ministry to be opened for the sake of the gospel as a businessman, it's time to rob minds with the great. Lift me by your anointing, O God. Your certificate can give you a job. It will take the anointing to rise. to pray a serious prayer lord by the anointing on my life take away poverty and hardship lift your voice and pray if there is an anointing on my life then there is a demand for it let the anointing of my life roll away financial reproach let the anointing upon my life activate divine supply by the ministry of destiny help us that it will be a privilege for men to arise and answer to the cause of my people pray God will answer I tell you hallelujah at me look at me
at me we are praying there is an anointing that works like perfume Isaac used it and said my son is like a field I place something upon my son that makes him to begin to smell like a field that the Lord has blessed that means you pass and that aura attracts you have you seen people you just like and honestly there is nothing there is no reason you just look at them and you go out of your way to ask questions what are you doing in Zaria I just came do you have a place to stay and you too you are wondering the smell when the woman broke the alabaster box the Bible says the perfume fill the room there is there is this plant they call queen of the night that's the name i think is that true and once it's night when other plants are sleeping that plant just takes over the entire atmosphere the anointing is smellable you can be within a vicinity and the spirit of someone begins to know ah, this man is here let me go and see this pastor I say i knew it i knew you were there hold on wait for me and the person will go and bring something i like you to pray the fragrance of your glory lord let it smell my life that as i walk my life becomes a walking miracle to pray two more prayer points i like you to cry and say lord i am the one who will break the cycle of hardship in my entire lineage there are many of us here listen listen let me tell you the truth you will be a wicked person if you don't think of your children the power of god is here i sense a strong anointing i like you to pray that the grace upon your life will crush hardship once and for all over your family lift your voice and pray Shaka takata, shaka takata, 
Bible says John was anointed from the womb listen until that time they never named anybody John so they wanted to give him a name an identity like what was the status quo but when the angel came you see that Zechariah wanted to corrupt the destiny of someone who was going to be the greatest of all prophets according to the mouth of the Lord and the, the father's mouth was shut so that the destiny be preserved listen when you do uncommon things uncommon men come to you when you do common things common men come to you you are going to pray Lord anoint me for unusual things unusual dimensions unusual ministry unusual business unusual medical practice it has to be unusual no table they said that a notable miracle had happened lift your voice lord an unusual prophet an unusual apostle an unusual evangelist an unusual caterer an unusual chef come on pray an unusual IT consultant an unusual doctor an unusual professor dimensions of the workings of the spirit unusual dimensions unusual dimensions hallelujah listen let me tell you this I shared with you years ago that a man of God was praying for me and that man said something that disturbed me I went to sow a seed to him and he said oh Lord create a problem that only him can solve I, I, I thought that was selfish when you talk of kingdom kingdom is not a thing of competition and the rest but he said he has prayed his prayer whether I believe it or not it was later as i began to grow that i understood that ah he was not being selfish he was just saying lord distinguish him put him in a level let me tell you rehoboth means god has given me my space there is your space in life that you dig a well they can come and close it but there is a space in ministry there is a space in business you're going to pray one prayer lord allocate my space and keep me there a space that is beyond competition beyond contention there are names that when you call on earth there is no basis for comparing them there are names when you call in ministry in business in family life they are outstanding they are in a class of their own your father god is in a class of his own cannot be compared with any other god Listen. I met I just returned from a trip and I met a particular music minister and he came to me and hugged me I said oh I've been blessed by your songs I'm happy to see you now and he looked at me he said apostle this is not the first time you're meeting me I said really he said in 2012 I was in a meeting I was nobody you called me out and prophesied to me and I said I did he said yes that you prophesied to me that the wells of worship the fountain will begin to rise and that from that time his life had moved forward and while we were in the meeting the lord spoke to him, to him again and i told him i said you are going to write just one song one that will surpass what your songs have done again 
it doesn't take too many things to lift you just one noise by the hand of god there was one earthquake Bang! what did ben carson do to be great just one surgery and that was it when you call all the music ministers in this nation it's usually one song many songs they wrote but one song bishop td jakes wrote one book woman thou art loose till today no other book has brought him that kind of reward dr miles munro had written so many books bestsellers but when he wrote rediscovering the kingdom that one book was a game changer please can we borrow one more minute and say lord what is the one thing that will announce me by your grace let it come let it come let it come lift your voice and pray lord what is the one song lord as a man of god what is the one meeting the one meeting that will announce my grace as a doctor who is the one patient that i will treat and get out of poverty forever one thing is needful one thing one thing pray koinonia there is a god that answers one encounter when he had with jesus changed his life one encounter with catherine kuhlman changed his life one encounter we are still praying lord what is the one thing the one dimension who do i need to prophesy to for my life to change whose body must be healed through my hands what is the one meeting that will announce your grace upon my life what is that one publication that the nations will hear hallelujah praise the lord i think it was last year last year or early this year i had the privilege of flying with professor wale soinka and when i got into the aircraft he was sitting on my seat and i looked at him i was standing face to face with a nobel laureate very simple looking and i thought about this thing again it's not many things that lift people they wanted to walk him so that i said no 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 you can't do that this is a great man i use it as an opportunity to practice the law of honor say please keep him there just find whatever seat for me and let me sit why will i walk him up whereas i aspire that the world hear god's voice through me too one thing have you not seen that great men are only lifted by one thing if david didn't kill goliath he will continue to eat sheep meat till he dies there in the wilderness the head of goliath brought him a wife the head of goliath made him and his family tax free the head of goliath made him a king one thing one thing jesus did die on the cross and he resurrected and was enthroned as king listen i know our time is gone but you are going to cry this one thing listen for some of you it may not be one thing it may be one encounter with one person we have a number of our worshipers here this young man gashina where is he he's praying this gentleman it was one of his songs just one of his songs that nathaniel bassi received one of his songs and this song just exploded this gentleman's ministry hallelujah sometimes you just need one encounter i'm saying this to you i've shared with you my experience with jesus it's not that i was not doing i was not doing bad I was already working in a measure of signs and wonders and this but one solid encounter not this nonsense around that people say encounter with no proofs solid encounter where you meet the power of god apostle babalola was roaming around in a forest when fire fell on his head from that forest one encounter and changed his life archbishop benson idahosa it was one encounter that 
turned his life and announced him bishop oyedeko one encounter an 18 hour vision changed his life papa Ia deboye one encounter turned his life around you don't need 10 lord what is the encounter what is the idea what is the song release it cry and say release it call on to me and i will answer one encounter with the healing anointing will take you beyond the shores of this nation one encounter with the prophetic grace will open you up to dimension one conference that god will grant you access to rise to will lift you and take you high I stretch my hands and I pray for you in the name of Jesus the fire that must fall on your life to shift you to the next level I stretch my hands receive that fire from heaven now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare where your reward system has become limited may you be upgraded to a higher dimension in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Listen, I speak to you. If you are a ministry here, I stretch my hand. I'm telling you, it's time for men of fire to arise. This lukewarm, talkative thing around will continue to mock us. We need people that know God and can prove His power and His grace. This is what will change the society. All this grammar up and down will not do much. You need to bring God to... The Bible says the Word became flesh. I speak to you the kind of encounters that must put fire in your spirit may that fire fall on you in the name of Jesus any man of God here any minister of the gospel here and those following online you have been pegged at a level of result only certain miracles happen only certain results happen in the name of jesus enter a new dimension a new dimension in the spirit and i pray for you in the name of jesus the orchestrations that must make you collide with the doors of the next season of your life we declare by the spirit of wisdom may god coordinate those orchestrations and make them happen for you in the name of jesus listen for some of you this grace will start waking you up in the night you will be surprised that at specific times sleep will leave you not forever but for a period of time because it is through those prayer times that a solid encounter that's when you will see a real angel for the first time not not lying and saying this and that no daniel was praying after 21 days an angel came there are some of you by reason of that prayer god will lead you to certain bookshops you will see an old book that was written by one general nobody knew you will buy that book and sit down and that's when the fire of your destiny will come upon you value encounters don't trivialize them encounters are, are the things that create conviction this our generation doesn't have conviction at all we just say everything and don't believe it he said that which our eyes have seen 
that which our ears have heard that which our hands have handled even of the word of life that's what we preach i pray for you encounters with jesus there are some of you here i speak in the name of jesus may the king of kings himself visibly walk to your rooms in the name of jesus may god open you up to these encounters you will start having supernatural encounters encounters with the angelic encounters with the spirits of just men encounters with jesus himself in the name of jesus christ Obadiah 1 17 it says and upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness then it says the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions standing between the sons of Jacob and their possessions are gates forces fraternities covenants of darkness that attempt to sabotage the liberty of God's people. And then he says that there shall be deliverance. Deliverance is not falling down necessarily. It's not just manifesting and coughing out things. No. The context of deliverance is a platform that creates a separation on a legal basis. Between you and any force that keeps you bound. Are we together? There are things that have held our lives, brothers and sisters. And it must let us go. You must believe this. Don't sit down. I'm, I'm telling you this thing so you don't sit down and waste your time. I came with my spirit angry. We are going to deal with the issue of the fruit of the womb extensively. But then I want you to know. The reason why the door has not opened is because there is a spirit sitting somewhere. And I tell you, if you let those spirits, they will wreck your life. Wreck your life. There are pastors whose churches have refused to grow. And they think they preach well. They are anointed people. They are great people. But there are all kinds of forces. Brothers and sisters, wickedness is real. The Bible tells you the whole world lies in wickedness. Don't say I didn't do anything to anybody. The condition to be vulnerable to oppression is that you are born. Once you arrive here, that's all. You, you are in the middle of a story that predates your existence. So as you come, you just join in the whole thing. Don't you think you have to come up with a fresh trouble? No. It is there before you arrived. Have you not seen children hated for something their parents did before they got married? And they look at you and while they are insulting the man, they say, who is this? You say, my name is David. Who's, you are his child. You are the idiot like him. You just inherited an insult. Just because... You were associated with a man while they were making that trouble. You were in the loins of eternity. And now you came and participated. Tonight, I want you to believe God. I want you to believe God. Brothers and sisters, there's enough grace and unction for you to receive the miracle. I believe in breakthrough. Breakthrough is a mystery that gives men speed. Where limits are taken. Kabbalataya. Limits are taken, limits are taken, limits are taken, limits are taken. I don't know what has held you down. You must break this limit. Don't sit carelessly looking. Some of you have some results. We all have different results, but is that the best? God can fast track your life. That between now and December 31st, he will put a new song in your mouth. A song of praise in your heart. He said many will see and fear and put their trust in him. Hallelujah. And time will fail me to speak of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Men who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought the mouth of, of lions, shot the mouth of lions, wrought righteousness. Let's look at one scripture. Romans 4, 18. I just want to touch a little on this issue of believing and faith. We just finished a series on faith. Please, I encourage everyone as God grants you grace. Make sure you get those series and listen to them. But I just want to challenge our faith a little even as we prepare to pray. There's such a strong anointing in this place tonight. 
Jesus. Hallelujah. Such a strong anointing. I'm hearing footsteps. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. Footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me he's the one walking to people's lives. I'm hearing footsteps. No, 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 no. I, I believe me. Just, just, just believe me. Just walk with me. I'm hearing footsteps right now. God will not let me continue. He's walking to someone's life right now. Right now. I'm hearing footsteps in the spirit. I'm still hearing footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me this is his footsteps. He's walking to someone's life. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I don't know where those people are. But right now their stories must change. Must change. God is not even waiting for me to finish preaching. Something is happening here. A change of story. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something is happening right now. How forcible are right words. Sekatalatos. Empre toke telekata. Siketereto supatalabaya. Dekatash kabarita da bada bada bada. Sekreto si bada da bada da bada. Brante katala koto supata. Footsteps. I still hear these footsteps. I still hear these footsteps in my ears. And God is saying He's giving people testimonies. It's like the Spirit of God walking. Walking. He will meet you where you are. He will meet you where you are. Shabala rabala rabala. Sit down. Sit down. Let's finish up. Romans 4 verse 18. Just sit down. The waters has been stirred. I just want to give you an understanding on faith. You have a role to play. Listen please. You have a role. Don't worry about what is happening. You have a role to play. Please hear me. You have a role to play. You have a role to play. You're not going to sit down and just expect to be healed. You have a role to be to play. Lift your hands, gentlemen. You raising your hand. I see an angel pouring oil on your head. That's what I'm seeing right now. Something looking like oil. That's what I see. I don't even know you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, receive that anointing right now. <sighs> My spirit is fired up. I feel this thing on me now. I feel this thing on me now. I feel this anointing on me now. I feel this thing on me now. Shekatayabada. It's the anointing that comes with the office. I feel it on me right now. Zeketo sheta reto kasoda pita shiada ba lembreto sata brashi kete brata kata barata bada ba lebrato shia. A lady with a breast lump, a lady with a breast lump has just been healed right now. Check yourself, check yourself. A lady with a breast lump, the left side of your breast, the left side of your breast, the left side of your breast, the left side of your breast. The, of your breast. the power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The Bible says, Who against hope? Against hope have taught us. Against hope means in spite of the obstacles believed. Who against hope? I told you the starting point of faith is the presence of an obstacle. It is not unusual to see obstacles. There is a system to take care of them. That system is based on your conviction. Backed up by understanding. That compels you to take action. The name of that action is faith. Not the name of the believing. Believing is not faith. Believing is restful confidence. Based on an understanding. The end product of believing is conviction. When you act it. The name given to that action is faith. Listen, you can hear the most anointed word if you do not mix it with faith. Be convicted that this is the word of God and then be ready to take steps. So if you are here 
and you cannot stand be ready to stand don't just sit down saying well let's see what will happen you will go back home on that wheelchair you are deaf you are blind whatever it is genotype whatever make sure you are anchoring your spirit a door has refused to open make sure that you receive there are many faith actions praise and celebrating God is an action that's how you water whatever you sow listen Jesus said and I've corrected it here I've taught us he said if you have faith as a monster seed I've told you it's not the size if you have faith and your faith works like a monster seed a monster seed is sown that means if you can plant your faith and create an environment for it to grow in the similitude of a monster seed then you can say to this mountain he was not talking about the size of faith if you have faith and you have understood how to make it operate like a monster seed then you will do great things Are we together tonight i want you to refuse that any force of darkness holding your destiny will go back with you i want you to refuse listen listen there is grace for increase i feel it in this place i, I just want you to believe me you know sometimes it's difficult communicating things to people because some we live in an environment of such unbelief i know the grace for increase listen increase is an unction honor is a mantle it can come upon a man you can carry it bodily don't sit down and just waste your time you may not be sick in your body but there is an encounter that produces a possibility upon your life listen i told you creation has never been disobedient something on you or not on you is what compels the response of creation an anointing is like a mantle it works like a charm when it is upon your life that anointing speaks is a language it will make creation respond to you in a certain way that's what you call favor that's what you call breakthrough don't sit down asking can i get a job that's a very foolish question very foolish question don't sit down asking can god make a way in the wilderness my god my god my god ah Don't sit down asking, can I get the child? No. What you should be asking is, can I get the twins or triplets? Not, can I get the child? Are we together? You are here tonight because you are trusting God to do something in your life. Face the business that brought you and be serious. Don't sit down laughing at others, criticizing others. Others will be taking radical steps of faith. Don't sit down there being cynical, laughing at them. No. Connect and open up your spirit. Man of God, open up for your ministry. There can be more. There can be more. There can be more. The pressure of ministry will kill you if you continue going the way you are going. There is a system that builds you out. Even favor, let me tell you, this favor that we think is very free, there are laws. There is an unction that brings favor. It is a manifestation of favor that is effortless. But there is a system, an exact system, a science to its coming into your life. Hallelujah. Don't sit here and allow the over 40,000 or so people following online who are receiving and getting blessed and their lives are changing and you are here seated and you are wondering, can God change me? Are you not seeing don't you see his signature all over? Listen. There are three platforms for us to receive in the kingdom. I'm rounding up now. There are three platforms for reception. I've taught this, but let me just touch it quickly. The first platform for reception is an encounter with the presence of God. When you meet God, the presence of God alone, listen, will leave certain deposits. It's like an intercourse between a man and his wife. There is a transfer. So when you meet God, there is a deposit. Listen, the second platform for reception 
is through your understanding and your application of the principles of the kingdom there are dimensions of the power of god that has been vested in laws you don't have to pray the moment the laws are accurately um, operated the power is released immediately you don't have to be a christian but the third dimension listen the third dimension of reception is by tapping into the covenant a man has with god listen men enter covenants with god that represents platforms for certain possibilities to find expression either through their personal press or through the office they represent and the possibilities it brings listen to me you will never touch prosperity ignoring abraham abraham entered a covenant with god that became the platform to see that dimension of god work in your life there are men today who have covenants with god answers to prayer is not just by their personal faith their altar is a mystery and others can tap into that mystery through honor and receive results that are above and beyond your current level of believing god when when saul came where samuel was just that atmosphere implicated him he prophesied all kinds of things happened to him you need to understand that territories human beings represent systems in the kingdom and not there are certain audacious statements that when god makes he's not just waiting for your personal faith he creates the platform for receiving those miracles upon a covenant are we together now god entered a covenant with abraham is that true and then abraham slept with hagar and then had ishmael is that true they were at the wilderness crying two of them were crying god only had the cry of ishmael why because ishmael was abraham as far as the covenant was concerned so god could not listen to hagar but he had the voice of the lord crying and because of that he came let me tell you this ministry you see like cobwebs is an encapsulation of mysteries and covenants mysteries and covenants agreements with god that become the platform for certain possibilities to happen i want you to leverage on those advantages and cheaply tap into certain things tonight you are not alone there is grace for you rise up on your feet you are mighty in this place you are mighty in this place you are mighty in this place faithful god hallelujah hallelujah you are mighty you are mighty in this place you are mighty in this place. Say na 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 na. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faithful God. Hallelujah. in one minute before we begin to minister i want you to lift your voice and tell god everything you desire for him to do don't keep quiet don't say god knows open your mouth lord step into my finances lord step into my business lord step into my family faithful god hallelujah Se que para da bato sobra de la lava Lord take away the barrier 
that is stopping my doors from opening take away the barrier oh god stopping my influence enlarge my coast answers prayers Lord I must take my testimony tonight I'm tired of this fibroid it dies this night this night it must go this night not tomorrow Lord favor must land upon my life I'm tired of struggling Favor must come upon my life. Sikepa go soto bakata. Those online, make sure you are praying. The anointing of the Spirit will reach you where you are. You reign, you reign, hello, him, you reign. hallelujah hallelujah the lord is starting tonight with an impartation don't bring them out i am seeing the lord speaking to me and he's saying there is an unction for divine strategies and it's coming on 21 people 21 people i stretch my hands right now i stretch my hands right now receive that impartation 21 people divine strategies the wisdom of god receive it that idea, Kato Sotoya, divine idea. Someone has been praying, Lord, show me the way. Here it comes. The anointing brings it. Help them, please. The anointing brings it upon your life. 21 people. The Lord shows me 21 people. An impartation, supernatural strategies. 
Alléluia. 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 I'm going to begin to minister now. But the Lord the Lord is speaking to me. Listen. Listen. The Lord is speaking to me. And this is a mystery. God wants to use two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Listen. Two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Play mic. Something supernatural is happening. Ah. The Lord is taking me in the spirit. And I'm seeing a map. Get ready please. I'm seeing a map in the spirit of Nigeria. And I'm landing in Kaduna state. I see an anointing touching Kaduna people now. Right now, right now, right now. By the spirit of God. Kaduna state. Kaduna state. I see an anointing. Only Kaduna state. Shabarapakata. Embreketeta. Kaduna state. A miracle happening for Kaduna people. Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. God is bringing breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough. Hallelujah. I don't know why God does this. Brothers and sisters, don't ask me. Don't ask me. This is an operation. It's called the Ministry of Signs and Wonders. Now I see Benway State. Benway State. I see an anointing on Benway State. Now, an anointing on Benway State. Benway State. Shakatoda Parata. Reketekete, help them please. Benway State. You can't stand it. You don't have to know whether you don't know your state. Benway State. Miracles. Miracles. Go into Benway State. I hear or to go in the spirit. A miracle happening right there. Right there. All those connected to that bloodline. There is a miracle for you right now. Don't trivialize what is happening here, brothers and sisters. These are territorial breakthroughs. Territorial breakthroughs. Hallelujah. 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 I'll pray for Stephanie. 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 I'm hearing a name, Stephanie. Please, let's save time. Who is Stephanie? You are like a red dress or something like that. Stephanie, who is that? Stephanie. There is a Stephanie I'm seeing. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone. And in the vision, the Lord is showing me it's like a red dress. But I'll pray for you. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you witchcraft ends in your family. Witchcraft ends in your family. You will hear testimonies that will surprise you. Right now, I stretch my hands towards you. Now, it ends by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Johanna. 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 I'm hearing a name, Johanna. Please save our time. Johanna. I don't know who that person is. Johanna. I won't continue speaking like this because we have to be fast. Johanna. 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 Whether you're here inside or outside. Johanna. 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 There is a lady following us from Lagos. Your name is Blessing. Your name is Blessing. You are in a room. You are following from a laptop. The Lord is saying I should tell you he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. He's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to pray. 
I tell you, I feel fire in this place. It's time to command deliverance. It's time to command deliverance upon the forces of darkness that have tied our lives. Forces of darkness. The Lord is bringing deliverance to your family. Your family. The Lord is bringing deliverance. I'm seeing a plot of witchcraft over his family. And the Lord is bringing deliverance right now. Right now to the family. Right now to the family. The Lord is bringing a major deliverance to the family. A major deliverance to the family. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. As I begin to pray for you, all those devils that has tied the lives of people, it doesn't mean you are possessed. It's not an insult. You may not even know. You may be minding yourself just like you're standing now. I'm going to command those devils. They must go. They are not only going to live your life. They must live your family. Are we together? Listen, some of you brought many prayer lists. Just one spirit living will produce all that testimony. Believe me. Believe me. Lift your hands. My heart, my soul, I give to you. I bow to you, my Savior and King. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you for your anointing to deliver, to set free. There are spirits in this place sitting on the lives and the destinies of people. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, they must go. I want you to bring them out now. They must go. They must go now. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. You'll be surprised to see what happens. Kai, 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 Kai. I see spirits of delay. 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 Spirits that have held men down. All kinds of spirits. Father, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, Lord, as your people shout, may this shout reverberate in the realm of the spirit and may it bring breakthrough, 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 flowing sound, my flowing sound. In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, shout Jesus. Now I command those demons, go now, go now. Go now, Kato Sotoba. Lift your voice and begin to command every spirit, every devil. Help them, please. Go now. I command every spirit of witchcraft that has tied the lives and the destinies of people. You must go now, inside and outside. I command you, inside and outside. Bring them out. I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your voice. I command you, you must go now, now, by the anointing of the Spirit. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Release their breakthrough. Lift your hands while still praying. Atasileka prosuto pariata katusha. Brendeka brato sokoto baleyakata. I'm seeing gates and I'm seeing chains on them. And the Lord is saying to unlock those chains. Unlock those chains. That anointing will come on certain people right now. Father, I decree and declare. In the name of Jesus. Wherever they are. Any place in your life. That has been chained and tied. Right now in Jesus name. I command those gates be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, take it, take it, toss it, toss it, Chains, chains, be broken. Ushers, please. Chains, be broken. In the name of Jesus. Chains, be broken. Be broken. Kalapatoshaya. Release their destinies outside. The Holy Ghost is touching people outside. I see a wind of fire touching people by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Every enchantment, every enchantment, every witchcraft against the lives of people, 
against destinies. You must go now. Mr. Man, lift your hands. This man, lift your hands. The Lord is saying I should tell you that your breakthrough begins this night. Right now, receive that anointing. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them out. I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity, we have to be very fast. Because I want to focus on barren people right now. Charity, Charity. 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 I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity. The Lord wants to bring breakthrough for Charity. The second overflow. There are two people God is touching there. The second overflow. I see the anointing coming on two people. The overflow, the roadside. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Something is going to happen here. Now, ushers, I want you to be sensitive. I'm going to pray for certain people. You will have to help them. The grace for speed, listen, is going to come on some people. Physically, they will find themselves trying to run, help them. So that it's not like they won't be able to control themselves. It's a prophetic act by the spirit. So that they don't enjoy anybody. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Guys, be sensitive, please. In the name, help them, please. It's already happening. That's the instruction God is giving me. An anointing will come on you physically. You will begin to demonstrate your breakthrough. Right now, Lord, I release that anointing. Give men speed. Give men speed. Give men speed. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Give men speed. Kato Sotobaya. Run like Elijah. Help them. Run like Elijah. Help her. Help her. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Grace for speed. I release it. I release it. From my spirit. I release it. Grace for speed. No more stagnation. No more retrogression. Run with the grace of Elijah. Overtake the chariots of Ahaz. Hallelujah. Charity. Charity. Are you married? The Lord wants to give you two miracles. Huh? Number one, God wants to settle you maritally. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Second, what are you doing? I just finished school. I'm a graduate now. Huh? I'm a graduate now. You are a graduate? Yes, sir. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing Abuja. Huh? Yes, sir. Abuja? Yes. What is Abuja? I have a fiancé. You have somebody there. Yes, sir. that's the person to marry you. Okay, Did you sir. tell me? No, sir. Did you tell me? No. That's what I'm telling you. I'm looking at you. I said God will settle you Amen. maritally. Amen. Ah, huh? and then God will give you a job. Amen. Supernatural job. Amen. Because it's your desire. Amen. God will give you a job. Amen. The Lord is saying I should prophesy to you. I'm opening a new chapter over your life. The past. Uh -uh, your future has to change. It, the, what the past is, is not a good testimony. And the Lord is saying, I'm giving you a new chapter. A new chapter. Come, my dear, in the name of Jesus. God is giving you a job. May he connect you maritally. Huh? Is your name Charity? Is your name Charity? In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Delay ends now. Delay ends now. I pray for your auntie. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I minister to one more case. Before I pray. I want to pray specifically. For barren people. I'm going to pray that before. We'll do a lot of other things. Before we call the sick out. Thank God there are many hands today. And so we're able to do a very quick walk. 
Ladies, when I count three, just shout, I receive. Don't worry. Follow me and do my stupid thing. Are you ready now? One, two, three. There is an opening. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Many people are entering it. I see it. It's a door of breakthrough. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Shalom. Shalom. Jehovah. Shalom. Shalom. You're mighty in this place. You welcome in this place. I tell you, if, if God would open your eyes to see the breakthroughs that I see being released to people in the realm of the spirit, doors, strange doors. I told you there is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. The language tonight is more, 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 more. There is more, more anointing, more grace, more unction, more wisdom. There is more. There is more in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please drop your hands. The Lord is leading me to pray for brothers. Lift your hands. You'll be surprised to see what will happen to you now. The Lord wants to release grace for establishment. Listen, there is such an anointing. Don't be foolish. Receive it. Receive it with all your spirit. There is a spirit, especially in this side of the north. Men get established very late. Very late. Very late. You make money late. You build a house late. It's a bad spirit. God wants to release something. Those online, you can follow. I want to pray. I, I see this thing falling on many men Jesus it is your word you have released this word I put authority upon this prophecy and I declare let it enter like an arrow into the life of men right now take it receive that grace right now receive it in the name of Jesus at the count of three one two three take it now take it now help them grace grace strange establishment doors opening doors opening in their own accord help them doors opening i put you in a platform spiritually where you experience speed and establishment in the name of jesus help them please so they don't enjoy themselves my god be established be established be established be established. I lose your hands. I untie your hands. Every brother here, I untie your hands. Be established by the Spirit. Be established by the Spirit. Go and buy that land by the Spirit. Go and build that house by the Spirit. I open strange doors. Don't say you are too young. It's an anointing. It's not your effort. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now leave those who are standing here very quickly. If you are here specifically, please listen. You are here specifically trusting God to stamp the feet of Satan in your family over the issue of children. You know, God announced beginning of October that the theme for this miracle service, you've had the testimonies. Please don't say they have prayed for me before. Don't allow that unbelief destroy you. Are we together? While you are coming, there is a lady who will shout under the anointing. It is the grace that will release this grace for fruitfulness. It's a loud shout. It will be loud enough for everyone to hear. By the Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we give you praise. That's the shout there. That's the shout by the Spirit. 
there is an anointing to pray for the barren come please all those whether man woman if you are married look don't come out here if you are not married why are they here why are they all here you must be married except if you are standing in for someone don't stand here doubting there is an anointing i see a river some of you as you are standing right now the power of god will come on you just before i even start praying yeah. look at this will you open up the gate open up the door Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Lift your voice in one minute and sing it from your heart. Will you open up the gate? For you by myself that's the instruction i will do it very fast you don't have to tell me any stories i don't care what they said low spam count um infertility i don't care the report as you receive that touch if you are standing for someone call them let them know you are praying for them are we together now don't just say i receive and then you stand there let the people know what god is doing i'll have to do this very fast after that we'll pray for the sick generally we have a lot to do don't lose touch of this don't come for koinonia and then sit down this is not a museum let your heart be connected because there are different things happening in the realm of the spirit i'm going to be very fast i'm seeing listen i'm seeing something like a bird is jumping out of a lady now one person here i don't know who that person is but the lord is asking that until that happens like a bird that's what i'm seeing father in the name of jesus who is that person let there be that miracle right now it's like something will just leave you just leave you just leave you and release you and release you by the power of the holy spirit now as i pray for you many of you strange things will happen some of you are standing for other people but as i pray for you god is securing something in your life you don't have to come out please if you do not belong to this category that's the lady i'm talking about now i'll pray quickly just give us um uh, uh, keys just play something very quickly father in the name of jesus let everyone here return with a miracle child no matter what the spirit is no matter what the issue is fibroid infertility low sperm count whatever i don't care what the name is it must live right now in the name of jesus please shift very quickly as i lay my hands on you it is done receive that grace receive that grace receive that grace now go and carry your miracle child madam carry your miracle baby carry it now carry it now my god i tell you i see babies literally in the realm of the spirit carry it now carry it now Shabaratosia. carry it right now carry it right now Miracle, 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 miracle. Shata da 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 balada. Regete gete gete. There is an unusual grace here. There is an unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. As I lay my hands on you, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Heal now. Open up the gates in the name of Jesus. Grace, grace, grace. Shaba la da ba la da ba. Reke te ke te. Embro to ko to ba la ba la ba. Shaba la da ba la ba. Grace, grace, grace. Help them, please. Let's save time. Grace. Receive your miracle, baby. My God, my God. Testimonies. Wombs opening. Fertility be restored, receive it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. By the anointing.
anointing of the Holy Ghost. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Bring it. Please. In the name of Jesus. 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 Return with the miracle child. 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 No barrenness. Out. Out now. Release her now. Now. Out. Out of her. Return with your child. Miracles. 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 In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing twins in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is showing me twins. Somebody is carrying twins. Out. Let her go now. I command that spirit. Release her in the name of Jesus. Release her right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let it be open. In the name of Jesus. Grace. 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 Shebara do bara 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 bara. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. E koto shobara bara. The Lord is healing irregular menstruation. Irregular menstruation for one woman is being healed right now so that you can carry your baby. Receive your child out, out of her. Now, return with your miracle child. Now, miracle child. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it ends now, 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Keep praying in the spirit, don't just watch miracles, miracles. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles. The Lord is anointing you. Receive that anointing now. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Grace, grace, grace. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace, 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 grace. Open. Open now. Open now. I see a womb that is closed. Open now. Shaka para to kato kate ne ba 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 ba. Embrete kato. Leke te kota shike. Shike te ke te ke te. Rapa to kato shike te ne mosh. Embrete kato. For you, I want a woman to come up. Yes. I'm seeing a woman who is pregnant. You have been having nightmares. Somebody comes to you in the night. You have you even wake up shouting, you've not been able to sleep. There is a pregnant woman here with that situation. God wants to set you free. Please, where are you? If you care for you, you can come and God will set you free right now. You are pregnant, but I'm seeing you having very bad dreams, like a nightmare. Madam, look at me. You are standing for yourself, for someone. Anoint 
Ambroto Subroto Shobre de Gere Balaraba. Ah, hallelujah. Kai, I'm seeing something that is not nice. I need to pray for a lady here. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know if you have the courage. If you have the courage, I can pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family. Something like a living thing. It almost looks like a physical living thing, like a worm or like a snake. Literally comes out of your private part. It comes out and goes back. This is like a, a living, a real object. Please, who is that? I have to pray for you. Like I said, if you have the courage, there's nothing to be ashamed. What, who is this one? Why is she here? Coughing out? No, no, no. Don't bring her. In Jesus' name, you're okay. Come. In Jesus' name, it is done. The Lord sets you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I need to pray for that lady. Honestly, this is a serious thing. In fact, it's not just one. I'm seeing two of you. Come and stand here. Something, it looks like a worm, but it's bigger than it. You see it. It comes out and goes back on its own. Who is that? You're the one. God bless you for your courage. Can you celebrate her? Don't be afraid. See, look, let me tell you. This is this is like a spiritual hospital. So this is not a place. Immediately I saw it. Even me, I honestly, I my body was doing me one kind, but I thought you have to say it. this is bad. It's like a doctor. Madam, Kai. And you love God. Oh. Don't be afraid. Huh? Do you know this thing? Where are you from? Because I'm looking at you. You are supposed to be a very great woman. I look at you and I see somebody. Ah, this is strange. I'm seeing. Let me show you what I'm seeing. I'm looking at this and I'm seeing witchcraft from Delta State. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing a white woman. I'm seeing a white woman, but I'm seeing you. And the Lord is telling me that you speak like a white woman. That's the vision that I'm seeing. Say Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I didn't know that. Look at me. My dad, look at me. Because I'm seeing this. You look far, far, far older than your age. Somebody even see you and say, Mommy, there's no mommy anything. You need prayers because you too, are you married? You are trusting God for a life partner. It's even why you came here. Look at this. The devil is a liar. See, I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the waster that will want your life to keep going without achievement. I'm praying for you now. May that devil live your life forever in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a waster lives your life forever in the name of Jesus. I use her as a point of contact. This is a nice woman. She didn't bargain for this and she loves God. Are you seeing that now? Who knows, probably you were trained by white men or she speaks very intelligently. But everything grounded. Hold my hand, man. To a point that, that, do you know what it means? Another object, did you plant an object in your body? Comes out through you at will, goes back at will. For those of you who think witchcraft is not real, you are joking. You are watching one right now. Not pile, oh. I'm not talking of pile. Hold my hands, man. I'm angry in my spirit. In the name of the Lord God that I serve, I speak to you from the depth of my spirit. Right now, I command that devil, let her go now. Out! Out! In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on your stomach. I command that wicked spirit, whatever your name is, don't only leave her, pack your load with you and go out of this woman's life. I restore you even physiologically. In the name of Jesus Christ. This old face is not your own. You are not that old. I change it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. Give Jesus praise. Father, thank you. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. It's over. Over in the name of Jesus. Over in the name of Jesus. It's over in the name of Jesus. There's one mama here. 
the anointing of the spirit is going to come upon you for praying for barren people there's one mama here i'm seeing in a vision the power of god will land on you 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 may not even be expecting it not everybody this, this is an, like an elderly woman but i'm seeing an anointing right now wherever you are father something will land it's like fire it will land on one mama now supernatural grace you will start laying hands on the sick oh that's the woman there help her help her please bring her here supernatural anointing supernatural anointing for the for barrenness look at this look at this this is an elderly woman for god's sake Shera taba roto koto baradia, lembra bata tatso katiya, ekara takata la totiya. Father, take her to that level. I stand upon this apostolic and prophetic grace, and I bring you to that realm. Release miracles to women in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural. Supernatural. Daddy. Why is he here? Why is our daddy here? Who brought him out? You came on your own, sir? For barrenness? You? Where is your wife, sir? He's here, but I can't locate her now. Madam, come. You will see a man like, hold my hand, sir. You will see a man like this and think he has a child. You have a child? You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Yes. How old are you, sir? Don't be embarrassed. You are 57. You will still have your child. Where is your wife? Wife? Is she here? Is the wife here? She's not here. You are not sure. She's around here. You are sure she's around? Yes. Madam, if you are around, please, I want to pray for you and your husband. Otherwise, um, we can just pray and continue, please. So that we don't waste time. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. You can imagine the kind of oppression. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Your wife is not here. She's not coming out. Or is she under the anointing? Huh? Whose name? Maybe she doesn't want to come out. I hope she's not. She's here. What's her name, sir? Esther. Esther Atuluku. Please, you have had your name, madam. That's your husband calling you. Can you rush, please, so that we save time? Is she here? Is she outside? Otherwise, I'll just pray for him, please, so that we'll save time. There's a lot to do. Daddy, how long have you been married, sir? 32 years. 32 years. If you ever tell me wickedness is not real. If you ever tell me wickedness is not real. Our daddy's children would have been married now. With their own children. Ejimi, am I correct? Look at this. Abraham waited 25 years. Our daddy has waited 32 years. Sir, you came here by faith. You are our father here. And you did not feel embarrassed to come out and stand here. Look at me, sir. I want you to look at my eyes so that you will know that I'm the one that has told you. In the name of Jesus, I don't care whether your wife has passed menopause or not. I don't care whether she can give birth or not. I decree to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hand, sir. You will not have a child. You will have children. Listen, sir. I'm not saying God told me to tell you. I am telling you. There is something called a prophet's reward. In the name that is above all names, I speak over your life. That force of darkness that has vowed that you will not have continuity, I cancel it right now. Sir, you are struggling financially. I have to pray for you. God wants to open a door for you. I, I hope you are not embarrassed sir, that I'm talking to you. Please hold my hands. Jesus, please change our daddy's story. Let 32 years of barrenness come to an end now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now, 
please we are going to be very fast you are here for yourself you are not married you are standing for something in the name of Jesus Christ supernatural miracle now we are going to be very fast you can see it's past 9 but there are so many things we need to do we are going to do two things at the same time all those who are here trusting God for any miracle any miracle aside from barrenness except if you have another thing I don't care what it is Please, you are going to come. There are men of God here who are going to lay hands on you very quickly. It's a miracle service. Now, look at this. I want you to organize yourself. Uh, those outside, hold on, please. Hold on. Overflow 2. Just walk right to the front. You don't have to come here. Overflow 2. The whole of those occupying the roadside. Just walk right to the front of your, your stage there. Overflow 1 here. Just walk right to the front here. All those who are here, you can just come out come out organize yourself you are sick or you are standing in for people jesus listen if you are standing here for impartation go back please 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 don't make a fool of yourself we are going to pray for i know some of you just want me to touch you there's nothing wrong with you don't play games with god go back to your seat you will receive impartation some of you there's nothing wrong you just want in case if there's something i should still pray go back please we don't have that time are we together now i'm not joking please there is no time huh so those outside just obey instructions please some of you think i have to be the one to touch you that's unbelief i i spent time talking about faith here just walk outside stand there overflow look at how many people pastor for god's sake look at this look at how many people huh? almost everybody look at standing for somebody the devil wants to destroy people have you noticed that in the last one month there's been an outbreak of mysterious sicknesses someone will just get up in the morning and you cannot breathe again that devil is a liar in the name of jesus and i also understand there's been mysterious accidents you are minding your business car will jam you bike will jam you we are going to take care of all those things today it's called a miracle service now this is what will happen please and please anybody who lays hands on you just go back to your seat believing in faith we don't have time to take testimonies i know there are so many miracles if we do that we're going to spend time here there are other things we need to do are we together now so i will pray for you you can see there are so many people uh let's do it this way pastor pete is with me here so um pastor pete ah no edgy you know what edgy pastor femi you can go outside you can just handle that that one there pastor alpha pastor alpha kenny and um mike please you handle that one benga you will join here me him and pastor edgy and you and who you and pastor femi yes we are not just i don't think just because you are a pastor don't look at me i'm walking by the spirit i don't have to call you are not playing games this is not about ministry there is grace are we together pastor alpha please outside kenny mike promise where's promise join a jimmy promise femi and and pastor jimmy outside please just guide them protocol they, so that don't waylay anybody please behave yourself don't disturb anybody i'm here with pastor pete benga we're going to pray in the name that is above all names shout amen, amen. father we're standing in unity from three different points you have anointed this ministry to be a supernatural ministry and bring healing and miracles to your people lord every man of god represented here as we lay hands on your people it doesn't matter what the situation is let there be healing let there be deliverance in the name of jesus christ as we minister to you any spirit that is at work in your life must be casted out in the name of jesus christ please guys we have to be very fast so that we'll save time pastor sir thank you so much worship help us please we'll be very fast now all those sitting and around those online just connect by faith there's nobody touching you physically but the holy ghost is there he's representing us and he will touch you while that is happening concurrently please your miracle um uh your prayer request pass it ushers if you can connect yourself i know that there are not many of you protocol you can help them please pass your prayer request 
if someone sent a text to you now you can copy it quickly please pass your prayer request while laying hands on you if they give you a prophetic word receive it please guys don't waste time on one person let's just do it fast jesus will give you praise I have no other God but you. Now, I have no other God but you. Right now, and you have done what no man has done. Please, as they pray for you, just quietly go back to your seat. Rejoice in. Go back to your seat. Check yourself.
say. You are the joy of the whole world, Lord. You are the joy of the whole world. Help me say. You are the joy of the whole world. Oh, Lord, you are the joy of the whole world. Yes, you are. You are the joy of the whole world. Oh, you are the joy of the whole world. Help me say. You are. quickly pass your prayer requests. I exempted Pastor Jakes for a reason. The Lord gave me a word and then I'm going to give him and um, are we together now? Praise the Lord. There is an anointing that is going to release upon you now before, before we come to prayer. I know there are people, how far have we gone? Those outside, there's still a number of people. Okay, rise up on your feet, please, quickly. Jakes. The Lord gave me an instruction to tell him to speak prophetically and release an anointing and a grace. Honestly, I don't know what anointing it is, but I want you to believe something heavy will come upon your life. Are you hearing me? Those outside, whether you are joining the line, they can still be praying for you while you receive this. It's going to be a very quick one, and then... Um, Ushers, please let's have the request so that we can finish it because I, I'm still going to speak in your life and there will be some activations. Bless you, sir. Just lift up your hands. Thank you, Jesus. There is no one like you, Jesus. There is no one like you. There is no one like you, Jesus. There is no one like you. Scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone said, it says that his delight is in the law of God. In God, he meditates day and night. It says that that man is like a tree, planted by the river of water. We have a lot of content to share with you, so we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as the podcast. 
the Take wind of God's spirit moves to receive and the mighty hand of God an angel, mighty, mighty angel, placing his hand upon the servants of God, there will be a quickening, quickening, an awakening. A flame is being set upon many now, upon many, upon your tongue. I see fire, I see fire. The Lord puts a word in season for you. Aya. Oh, le prediosi prom beliete salioste. Some of my worship people here, the Lord will place upon you an unction for worship. A strong unction. David Dan, the Lord is going to be placing upon you an anointing. An anointing it will come upon you. Pare sufreting da ilosti predia. Rekito fiesta kila handaha. Ora kete shubelenda pragadose. Rekete gabaka koko shoke palagana. Renda pa freia so palenda ha. Resa profilesta kalionde. Para soko palagada. I feel like the fire of God moving upon the ground. It will come upon the feet of many now. Upon the feet of many. The fire of God will come upon your feet. The fire of God will burn your feet. There's a fire, a quickening. My God. Palio friesa kiata la ronte. Barus i cateli. Bo grakisti valande calebose. Tonight the Lord will open up portals for many as you sleep tonight. <laughs> Some of you have an experience of seeing a ladder as angels will ascend and descend bringing messages to you. Tonight, 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 tonight by the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you as standing here in the midst of Yeah, I sent the Lord's presence. <laughs> Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. hurry up while the other ministers are busy ministering to the people outside we are going to pray on the request now pastor Pete is going to lead us pastor Sajex please help me since you are the only one here we are praying for your request I want you to believe God stretch your hands over this place and I want you to begin to pray in the spirit everybody stretch your hands you are praying in the spirit we may not be able to minister directly to everyone but I want you to believe that God will touch you. Don't just stand watching. Make sure you pray. Stretch your hands. Those online, I want you to know that your requests are with us. We are laying hands by faith also. Those online, you are part of this. Stretch your hands right now as we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father in your divine wisdom. When you wanted to communicate to us the mysteries of your will. Lord you wrote it down for us to read. In the same vein oh God. Your sons and your daughters gathered across the nations. Those that are here. Those that are across the world. From the internet. They have written their own requests, understanding the mystery of the scribes. That whatever is written has a spiritual significance. Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we release the angels that respond to the prayers of men. The angels in Revelation chapter 8 that burn those prayers as incense and they ascend to the throne room of God. Right now, by the power of God, let those angels move swiftly in the name of Jesus. An angel appeared unto Daniel and said, I have come because of your word. Father, let angels respond according to this request. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Nothing here written will go back unanswered. We prophesy in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the prayer of a righteous man availed much. Father, we are on our knees on this mountain, at this altar, bringing this request before the throne room of God. And the Bible says, he that goeth before the throne boldly shall come back, O God, with results and answers. And the grace and the mercies of God shall be released. Right now, we release grace. And Lord, we release mercy in the name of Jesus. Every prayer written in this ground, upon this mountain, it is answered in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Aside from those that are still praying for peace, everybody rise up. Please rise up quickly. Rise up to receive a prophecy and the impartation. Two things we'll do at once, just two, three minutes, and then we're done. Please make sure you wait to the end of the service so that you listen to every announcement. I want to pray. We want to, every miracle service is a platform to activate grace. You have seen certain dimensions of God, but there's more. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you and I'll join it with the prophecy. This is the second to the last miracle service for the year. So don't be careless about it. Open up your spirit. There are people here who have been crying and say, Lord, I know there can be a new dimension of grace. I have seen your hand in my life, but I want to see a greater level. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Drink of a new fountain of grace. Help him, please. Drink of a new fountain of grace. I activate the gifts of the spirit at the count of four. One, two, three, four. Step into it. Eyes be open, ears open. Receive impartations. Receive impartations. Receive grace, grace. Impartation in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The kind of favor that you have not seen from the start of this year till now. On this mountain tonight, I invoke it upon your spirit. May that favor come upon you. I call the heavens to bear witness that you are a carrier of favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Where 
it has worked for others and has refused to work for you i declare the grace that makes things work the power of performance receive it right now receive it right now in the name of jesus everything dead in your life i don't care what and i don't care how long in the name of the one who raised from the dead i command that thing to come back to life i prophesy that nothing dies in your hands i prophesy that nothing dies in your hands tonight like pastor jake's prayed revelations of strategies from the realm of the spirit receive it is coming on you receive it is coming on you receive it is coming on you supernatural impartation i pray for you everyone here who wants to start a business start a company start something any value adding platform i prophesy upon you the spirit of influence may it come upon it the spirit of influence may it come upon it the spirit of influence may it come upon it every student here hear me i program your spirit to rise to a new dimension in the name of jesus on common understanding on common illumination any final year student here who it looks as if you are not going from the look of things in the name of jesus we change it here right now believe god we change it now we change it now we change it from your faculty we change it from your department by the authority of the kingdom in the name of jesus anyone here carrying any track record of bad luck it works for others until it gets to your turn then there must be stories I separate you and bad luck forever. I separate you and tragedy forever. Hallelujah. This spirit that came to Zaria that is causing men to be sick, hear my voice. There is a platform where ambassadors are in this kingdom. Therefore, I stand apostolically and prophetically we fortify the spiritual borders of this city and we banish such operations in the name of jesus may you and your kind be banished from this city in the name of jesus that spirit that brings accident and untimely death looming around our territory no 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 zaria is a place of light it's not the place where any spirit will come and loom and I speak prophetically across this place every spirit of untimely death hear my voice in the name of Jesus I command the gates closed over you I command the gates closed over you not by accident not by bomb blast the gate closes over you everything that has left your hand that left your life that should not have left i don't care where it went to i call it back may it gather its kind and come to you i say it again everything that has left your life has left your hands may it gather its kind and return back to you listen anyone here who the devil has taunted spiritually financially in influence you are not rising for whatever reason in the name of jesus i force you to rise in the name of jesus i force you to grow if there is anybody in this place from january till now you have not stood here to testify i prophesy to you now and the next 30 days may it be your turn to stand here believe me believe me 
now and the next 30 days may you stand here to testify anyone here called jobless or you are doing a job that is not a job any nonsense thing around that is not bringing you tangible sizable benefit in the name of Jesus I don't know where the jobs are we create vacancies and put you there we create vacancies and put you there any man or woman who said over his dead body for you to succeed I declare their prayers answered tonight I declare their prayers answered tonight I pray for you listen there is a mantle of honor upon this house and if you belong to this family it should be evident in your life and in case it's not yet working like a programming in a computer like an antivirus I place that mantle of honor upon you may it shield you from shame may it may it shield you from shame hallelujah every spiritual life that has died here no more passion for the things of God no more passion for prayer no more passion for the word of God I plant in you a fresh passion tonight fresh passion tonight we're rounding up every family represented here that has not had a reason to smile this year it's been tears and tears from home every time they call you from home one episode of bad luck may this be the first good news you will hear good news of breakthrough good news of increase good news of speed in the name of jesus christ whoever rises up to find you may the god that i serve even in the secret may he fight them we're rounding up i pray for you barrenness or its kind looming around your life looming around your environment whether in your body whether in your finances whether in the works of your hands in your ministry in your business i pray for you the water that flows that makes the barren plant to receive strength and begin to rise and become a great tree i introduce that water into your life therefore i prophesy to you in the name of jesus be fruitful be fruitful multiply multiply replenish subdue and may you command absolute dominion absolute dominion help them please every strange nightmare strangers roaming around your sleep not allowing you to enjoy the sleep that the saints should enjoy disturbing you oppressing you sleeping with you manipulating your dreams confusing you you don't know whether it's god speaking or it's the devil in the name of jesus i banish those strangers from your life forever i banish those strangers from your life forever in the name of jesus christ and i pray finally for you there is a spirit of increase there is a spirit that causes men to prosper there is a mantle that brings wealth from the east the north the south you have the value but you need the access you have the value already you are not a non-entity you already have what to give but the other side of the exchange is what you are looking for from the east to the west to the north to the south whoever must show up in your life in the next 30 days to be a ladder for you to climb to the next level 
I prophesy and I call them into your destiny. I prophesy and I call them into your destiny. There's someone here, God is giving you a word. Go and register a company and just keep it. You may not know what to do with it, but just keep it. Keep it and give God space to use it and surprise you. That's a prophetic word for somebody here. Just register it and keep it. You, there is no business to source for. Don't worry. Register it and keep it. And give God space to surprise you. May that happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every circle of continual suffering. Where you think you are about to rise up another episode of trouble. I declare. Where the devil put a comma. I change it to a full stop. Never again. Never again. Never again. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here. You need Jesus. You are saying man of God. I have watched the things that the Holy Spirit has done. I have seen the transformation. Keep standing please. No sitting. No moving around. Let's stand up please. Keep standing. You are here and you are saying. Apostle I want you to pray for me. I love Jesus Christ. But for some reason. My life has gone haywire. I cannot say that I'm truly enjoying relationship and fellowship with him. And there are others who are saying, man of God, this is the first time. I've always mocked at the things of God. I've never really been serious. But now, I'm making up my mind for Jesus. Overflow 1, overflow 2, all following us online. Wherever you are. I know that our time is gone, but let's honor Jesus. We cannot end this meeting without giving this opportunity. Wherever you are, don't wait for anybody to come. Be the first. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here. I want to lead you to Jesus. Jesus is already talking to some people. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. There are people outside. Run like there's fire on the mountain. Don't stroll around. Run like there's fire on the mountain. One. I'll count one to five and that will be it. Two. Lord, I give you my life. Three, please, we're out of time. Run, run to Jesus. I live for you. Every Come to him, he will give you a fresh start. A new beginning. Will you have your way? Hallelujah. If you are still coming, please rush and join them. It should not take a long time. If you are still indecisive, then just remain at your seat. By now, you should know where you stand. When the Titanic sank, there were only two lists. Those who were saved, those who were lost. If you are not sure you are saved, come out and join them. Because it means that you are not, you are not saved. You should be very sure. If you are a man of God, it's like, I think I'm saved. Come and join them and get a very uh, a, a high level of certainty to know that you are in Christ in the name of Jesus I appreciate everyone daddy thank you for coming and all those who have come to make this decision please understand you are not reciting a poem don't be emotional about it this is a simple decision but it's the greatest miracle you are opening up your heart to the life of God the Bible says and this life is in his son it says he that hath the son hath eternal life say this after me with all your heart and sincerely say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart tonight I come to you and I declare that you receive my life and manage it for me I receive your life into my spirit I declare that from today Jesus is my Lord my savior my friend and my king i declare that satan has no power over my life i'm a child of god i'm born again in the name of jesus christ father i stretch my hands towards these great precious people bless them let this decision be genuine and let this be the beginning of great days in their lives i anoint you with grace I command that you begin to see the faithfulness and the goodness of God in the land of the living. I plant in you like a virus, a hunger for the things of God. And I declare that it will override every other passion in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you for this great decision that you have made. Now hold on please. 
I want you to do two things for me. Number one, the Bible says, they that be planted in the house of the Lord, it says they shall flourish in the courts of our God. Visiting the house of God is not the key to consistency. You must settle down and receive the word. Our prayer meetings are Tuesdays, except for this week, we're making a little adjustment. I'm going to bring an announcement on that shortly. But you can be part of it for at least one month so that you can build your spiritual life. And then I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll have your details and then they'll warmly follow you up on our behalf and the lord will bless you in jesus name please this way all of you god bless you god bless you in jesus name koinonia are you appreciating them dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus I'll see you again bye